Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the Cruise, Cruise Brothers. Brothers. React, react back from back Black Clover. Come on, man. This arc is crazy, bro. And honestly, I want to see a good wrap up for it, bro. Um, and I want to give it a good rating after this because I'll tell you, so far, this has probably been one of the best arcs. So let's just get into this yeah. episode. Yeah. He said, consider my thanks for looking after my squad. You just leveled up my whole squad. Honestly. <laughs> this man just leveled up the whole Black Bulls, bro. I really want to see Yuno, like, fight someone at this caliber, bro. Like, see how he'll stack up against them. They need the reinforcements, man. Ain't nobody come to help them. That's crazy. <laughs> they did it, Johnny. Damn, what an art, bro. Underwater temple. Damn, they're lucky as fuck. The Black Bulls were here to help them. This whole place would have been fucked. Yo, seriously. <laughs> All you heard was a fucking smack of a skull. <laughs> Yo, seriously, she even keeps her captain like shit. <laughs> he really just <laughs> shot it down his throat. He said maybe later and he still took a drink. <laughs> yeah, look at you, bro. You're not getting your ass full. You're lucky you did something or y'all be able to whoop that ass. Or his first time meeting Gray. <laughs> That's all this guy could think about after all this. <laughs> <laughs> They're like his kids, bro. I swear to God. Get the They're fuck like, away from me. These are Yami's kids, bro. Stop fucking bothering me. <laughs> Give him the magic stone after all that shit. It's about time. Well, I was wrong about this old man. I thought he was nice, he's ass. <laughs> oh my god. You're fucking kidding me, bro. Yo, for real, didn't he? He was the one who mentioned it. Are you fucking kidding me right now? It, watch him say, "Oh, I just heard you guys talking about it." Oh my god, I knew it. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. So he, he baited them into playing the game. Yeah, look, the bird. She had that all along, remember? I think, unless that was the one. That's a new one. He didn't know. They had it, but he didn't know what it was. That's an idiot. Yo, that bird is so sus. I just got like a fucking premonition of it. Yeah, there's definitely something more to that bird. I think that's literally a demon that's a uh, fucking. Bro, all right, relax with the theory. You no, know, I got some crazy theory, bro. No cap. Damn, I mean, damn, they're all passing on, Johnny. Yeah, Yami's gonna need to carry every single one of them. Oh, it's, like, you know who I was thinking about lately too? Who hasn't shown up in a minute? Mars. Hey, look who woke up. <laughs> She's they call him a virgin. What, what is, is that? <laughs> the fuck? It looks like something most of power. Some IV shit. Sure. It's the whole underwater temple cheering him on. I guess they're still in um, here. <laughs> you see the little IVs? Just like a floating fucking cloud or something. Damn, so this is what fame is like. <laughs> the black ones. They're already talking about that shit, Johnny. I'm telling you. This is just a taste. Look, now they want more. <laughs> They're gonna become from the worst to the best. Funeral's gonna love this being famous. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Damn, man, that's fuck. I can't believe I forgot what happened to these people, bro. Holy shit, their careers are over. Oh my god, that is so fucking sad, bro. She's gonna get it back. Oh, she's gonna heal, Johnny. Okay, her life is not over. I mean, what about the other guy? The other guy, it's over for him. You can't grow back I mean, a leg, bro. He's a spellcaster. He'll he'll figure it out. I mean, like they said, there's got to be someone out there who can heal them. So, I feel like that'll happen. You know, they'll find someone. Yeah, somebody Some strong line. enough. There has to be a healer on Wizard King level. It's like, <laughs> look, he's in love. <laughs> Too bad she's taken, man. Yo, that bird. Look at that bird, Johnny. Shut up about the bird. It's just chilling. <laughs> no, I'm gonna talk about the bird after this. Look at him, always leading him to something, bro. His sword. His pointing at Beto. Yeah, he was saying shit like that. He was saying shit like that throughout the entire yeah. fight. Yeah, bro, what a fucking cool ass pack they have together, bro. Really to make it just because they came from nothing. 
<laughs> no, he isn't. <laughs> I mean, he kind of is. No. He doesn't even know what power he got right there. Like, and without that demon power, you know, it's stronger than him. Even without it, bro. His spirit, his spirit magic is on another level compared to Asta. Bro. It doesn't matter, bro. It does matter, bro. We've seen, uh, we've seen from this arc that there's plenty of ways to outsmart Asta, and Yuno can definitely do that with his abilities. We haven't seen nothing about Yuno's power except that it throws massive wind and stops right. time. Exactly, bro. What the fuck? And he still barely knows how to fucking use it, bro. Bro, it doesn't matter. All his all his power was enhanced from that spirit thing from in a Malaki net. Yuno's walk. Yeah, that's so fucking sad, bro. Crazy ass arc, bro. People lost limbs and shit. It's the farewell song, Johnny. They have to the help song her. Their people. Damn! Look, the, yeah, it's the choir. They're doing the whole choir. What is the cool you hear him? No way! Damn, bro, she really connected with these people, bro. She's pretty much their goddess, bro. Look at her. That's their goddess right there. And that's how you end an art, Johnny. That's how you end an art, Johnny. <laughs> Damn! 4 a.m. in the morning. Was, why can't I sleep? Yo, that was a good ass <laughs> fucking ending. Yo, guys, the arc, what can I say, man? The arc was literally a roller coaster of fucking greatness. Yeah. Um. um you know, yeah. There was so much good there was, stuff in there. Yeah, there was. I'm gonna get my theory out the way now about the bird. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. The what bird a is a demon! Yo, the bird literally has been guiding Asta to these magic stones. Why? Is that bird somehow connected listen, to listen, the master listen, listen, that they're trying listen, to resurrect? Listen. Is the bird somehow oh manipulating Asta to collect these stones to fucking get them in the thing? Bro, ever since we saw the bird grab the stone and we knew what the stone was, I knew that there was going to be some... We always know it was sus, I knew, right? Yeah, I okay, knew there was Okay, but did you some, know that, though? I, I, I what if I'm calling about. that right? I know what you're talking about. All I know is that I knew from the beginning that the, there was going to be some twist with the bird. I, I can see it coming. I don't if know. The, if the, if there's a twist, is so obvious. What is it? You're just theory out there, bro. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, but yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Every time I see that bird, and also too, the bird. If you think about it, in the dungeon where they got their, um, where Asa got his swords, right? The supposed demon sw dweller swords, the supposed swords that belong to the master of Leech, the one he's trying to resurrect. The bird directed him to those swords as if he wanted Asta to get them. What if Asta is like the vessel for fucking this demon or sign? I don't know, bro. Again, there's something. Uh, obviously, the bird is related to Asta in some way. Um, I, the I the bird know. is related to the demon. That's what's fucking he's related to, bro. It's not Asta. It's the demon that's in Asta is what he's related to. But anyway, You're let's get back so to the episode. Stupid, bro. <laughs> let's like, just get back to the episode. Uh, the episode was good. It was a good... Uh, cap off for the freaking um um the arc um i like the whole thing with um you know asta like really really thinking deep into like these uh i the midnight sun people and even showing his respect for the dead i guess in a way you know even though he he was his enemy he felt his despair if you want to say um he felt that within him and like how he hated humans so much and also we got a little flashback too with leech and um the beast or what's a veto um yeah. apparently they don't consider themselves as humans even back then as kids so what are they really these light people were they considered as what a different race in humans like was leech and his people different race than the humans i don't think they're a different race it's just they didn't have the respect i guess from all the other people so they maybe just maybe they just themselves. were humans who considered themselves as higher beings because they had light magic or something like that or some shit some mm -hmm. type of like religion or cult like that yeah. um and you know they considered themselves um higher beings than humans i definitely want to see more on this uh obviously the the people of licked you know the light uh villages and shit have a great influence on what the hell these guys are even doing um honestly Again, and, and, and he keeps we're talking slow, about the, he keeps talking it. about the master, and you know how he he's we know that his master had these swords that Asta has now. Yeah. I wonder how it all ties in to Lick's story exactly. 
um was this guy part right. of their village was he someone else that they looked up to like we don't there's so much we don't even questions. know if the person he's trying to resurrect has anything to do with demons because just because he's the owner or the supposed owner of these swords doesn't make him a demon you know um we know that these swords can be we wielded by uh, more than I mean, one or like at least they've known someone else to have wielded them other than someone with asta being a uh, uh, a rare case of someone with no magic with these swords you know um so i don't know I don't know it, how it could old be it could these be. guys are or what yeah like I maybe don't know they anything, looked but. up to um maybe they looked up to like the demon that fought the wizard king bro because he was fighting for them on their side or maybe shit. maybe maybe there's like a fucking big ass um and that's their master there's a big there's a big ass like conspiracy or uh, propaganda going on where the wizard king back then fought the demon years ago right but it was like a thing where maybe the wizard king was the the bad one or something like that in, yeah, in a because, sense I mean, and, and they just be. got the story wrong from all the, those um, I'm, years I'm, ago uh, what my what i'm thinking what my theory is is that but again this has holes because we don't know how old licked and all these other people are but my theory is that the first wizard king that fought the demon the demon was fighting for you know the just cause of uh them taking out their people or something like that or them being prejudiced or something like that i feel like I don't know. I don't and know. that's and and that's why licks people and that's why licked himself is trying to revive this demon because it could be the demon that fought the wizard king um mm -hmm. because he fought the clover kingdom and he was kind and that demon yeah was that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying it. like the wizard king they fought for all those years ago beat this demon king or this demon who's i don't know it's, it's confusing we could we could theorize about it all day but at the end of the day we're, it's always going to be theories um we won't really get more context behind it unless we get more clues but i like how the show really is um, not giving us everything at once like we've known leech about leech for a while we've known about the resurrection for a while but we still don't know the whole story behind his purpose and his and his uh backstory and all this shit. Yeah. and they're really giving it to us slow throughout these fights i think they're probably going to just keep giving us little bit by bit by every single person that they have to fight within these ranks you know yeah so, um but cool. for in regards to the arc it was a it was a great arc um a lot of fighting this was a lot of a, growth a lot of growth too i like that but yeah. um you know it, it it was a lot of action you know um yeah for the I, most I, part I, was, I won't say that you know i i don't like the action but it was a lot of action it was at it times was, yeah. so um it, yeah but you know, know it, it was like the bit. arc was mainly like i think mostly action but just flashbacks and stuff sprinkled in there or whatever you know um from everybody's backstories to their character development and shit like that you know for me the my problem with the show is that is, it, the growth in powers really is uh tied to their mental being and shit there's no real training or stuff like that that i see going on in the show not really uh, like there's yeah, little things that, that they do to train but at the same time it's all mental right where it's how they unlock their powers exactly. which uh it, it's i don't know i i'd rather see training stuff for me personally but it well, is I unique mean, to the show it I is guess. unique to the show yeah because every every show's like that where they you know they have to go through some type of training and yeah because their, but, their but the good thing about that is that there's the, uh, there's a whole arc for them leveling up there's just a moment where they kind of burst into yeah. a new power but which is why i like that better. but we also do know that a lot of these people that are are unlocking these we also have to keep in mind that these are all young ass kids they're obviously going to be unlocking powers throughout their uh spellcaster magic night days whatever um and and they all have like interesting backstories to them to make them this powerful like noel is a royal yeah. also has a demon in him fucking magna is just a fucking hard a card working kid i guess he just tries his best luck is just fucking nasty because he's born as a god it's like nah. yeah. <laughs> but you know like i said like they're all just like you know what it feels like it feels like a when you know goku gets emotional seeing krillin die and he trans turns super saiyan for the first time yeah it so feels like, like every new spell is like a transformation that's what it feels like that's you yeah, know for me that's what it is so i don't know it, it's for me it doesn't resonate as much as like having a whole character arc for them developing their skills you know but um that's just a show and i don't have a problem with, to be honest it's what it is what it is it's a but, problem for me personally but you know it is what it is yeah but yeah good ass art guys i'll give that art i think like i'll give it a solid nine bro 
It was a pretty good arc, in my opinion. I'm probably some people probably give it an eight just because of the oversaturated action, but um, in my opinion, I just like the growth everybody got. I know because I, within the, the, the action, thing, they still gave a story. Bro, you could say that it was all action, but at the end of the day, they gave us story development. They gave yeah, yeah, us no, they character gave us, development. They, they gave us everything. action. They gave us back uh, flashbacks. Like what else I'm, do you I'm, want? I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm complaining about like how they get their powers and shit. But uh, besides that, everything else in regards to their characters being grown and um, you know the action itself was fucking top notch. It was it was fun to watch. But yeah, man, um, great arc, fun arc. Uh, appreciate you guys watching this episode with us again. If you want to see the next arc? You can get early access to it on our Patreon for a dollar pledge. All those reactions are in full length, including the ones previously. Uh, hit the thumbs up on the short report. Subscribe if you're new here. And we'll see you guys in the next Black Clover arc. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves as always. And peace. peace.